days or or as I like to call it, the official, let's circle back after the holidays time of the year. Um, so we will get started with today. It's uh, a light meeting, really. Um, we have our usual announcements and calls for participation. Um, just a quick introduction to a new portion of the meeting that we're looking to get more active engagement and involvement with from all of you and any nurse users and participants. Um, our topic for today is we will be announcing our nurse early career award winners as well. And um, that will pretty much wrap up our meeting for today. So um, as always, any questions or thoughts or feedback throughout, please consider um, speaking throughout the meeting and keeping things going. So we'll just start again with our usual announcements. We have a few things uh, upcoming. Uh, and again, for all of our announcements, please be sure to check the weekly email for specific links. Uh, specifically, we have the RSSI Winter School applications. Those are due by November 27th. So if you are interested in learning more about how to do development for research-focused software tools and research software best practicing practices, um, this is a workshop occurring uh, at the top of next year in Portland. Uh, we have some calls for submission for as well. Um, the past 24 submission is open through December 4, 1st for any calls for participation, proposals, and papers. Um, our pre-proposals for the Leadership Computing Challenge are going to be due as well um, by November 13th. And then we also have uh, the DOE Computational Science Graduate Fellowships. Those are open and nomination packets for anyone is due by January 17th, 2024. And there will be a informational webinar on Thursday, December 7th, a Zoom session. So again, for all of those calls for participation, please be sure to refer to our weekly email And so we also have a couple of different uh, trainings uh, and meetings coming up. December 6th, we'll have a spin-up workshop. So if you're look that I'll also be planning to attend. So if you're looking to learn more about um, using spin and containers to um, advance your projects, then this is a good workshop for you. It'll be um, interactive and hands-on, so space is limited. So please sign up for that. Um, we also have a HPE Cray programming environment training coming up on December 7th. So if you're interested in learning um, some best practices for optimizing your codes for GPU environments, uh, this would be a good um, training for you to attend. Um, it's being hosted by HPE and NURSE, so uh, that is another training. And uh, also, there is a user group meeting for COCOS in December in Albuquerque, uh, New Mexico, December 12th through the 15th. So those are some um, calls for participations and meetings and trainings. Did anyone else have any um announcements related to meetings or or calls for participation that weren't covered here that they'd like to share? Nope. Well, we will keep it going. A um, little housekeeping. We do have a couple of scheduled outages that are going to be occurring uh, for Perlmuter uh, next week on the 16th, scheduled main, main, maintenance. Um, with storage on the 15th and the 6th, um, scheduled maintenance for both of those. And um, the backup is also going to be doing scheduled maintenance on 11-29. So that will cover our announcements and outages. And you can also check the, for any outages, you can check the nurse message of the day as well for any 
Yeah. So I think we've just moved the Perlmutter maintenance to a different date. Ah, okay. Like it just happened, so it's <laughs> okay. you didn't miss it. Um, so I think it's going to be on the 30th. I thought I saw, actually, I thought I, I saw Lisa here. Maybe she can confirm. It's the 29th. It's that Wednesday. The 29th. Okay. Yeah. It's off by one day. Yes. And we're also posting tentative dates for the next two maintenances so, um, in December and January. Okay. Hopefully that'll All help right. with planning. All right, so this is moved a little bit later then. So we'll um, update that. And of course, it'll be in the weekly emails as well. And I, I believe, Stephen, did you have your hand raised? The maintenance has been moved late enough. I'll ask later. Thanks. I'm sorry? I, uh, okay. I, I was going to ask whether it was known how disruptive the maintenance was going to be in terms of like login nodes versus not but if it's been moved to several weeks from now it may not be known yet versus if it was next week maybe it would be known but... okay All right um well i guess lisa or rebecca did you have any thoughts on that or yeah i will say right now it's looking disruptive but we are going to take the extra time to try and look at a way we could make it not disruptive so in general, if we know something's going to be not disruptive, we'll make sure to put that on the MOTD. Uh. Okay, so the, it's disruptive is the current default still. Yes, disruptive until told in otherwise. That's what I would go okay. with. Thank you. Okay, all right. Well, thank you for that. Um, let's see, let's continue on then. So another segment that we'll be looking to introduce um, moving forward um, within our meetings, hopefully every meeting or at least every other. And we call it Science Talk. And basically it's a opportunity for all of the users to kind of share um, a new scientific breakthrough that they maybe read about or thought was very important or impactful. And the idea is for it to foster everyone to kind of share and get discussing on some of the latest scientific breakthroughs um, and, you know, getting everyone uh, used to talking about science, maybe even if it's outside of your area, you know, maybe you're a physicist and then there's been some kind of uh, cosmological or chemical breakthrough or something different from you. But the idea is to for all of our users to bring forward new scientific discoveries that they've read or seen about and for us to have a discussion. And the idea would be for users to submit uh, their talks or their recommended um, segment talks the week before the NUG meeting. And then the week of the NUG meeting, when we do our reminders and announcements, we'll have a section that explains what the R Science Talk segment for this week will be about with the idea that everyone would be able to contribute and, you know, have a lively uh, kind of discussion on the type of breakthroughs for that. Um, so that will be a, a new segment that we're hoping to launch in the next, for the next NUB meeting. So did anyone have any questions about that or... Any thoughts on it? Any ideas or any recommendations? Um, not all at once. Go, go for it, Stephen. I'm just thinking about potential talks. Are you looking for people to be in some sense, highlighting the science they did, or are you looking for people to be highlighting like these are things we learned while doing the science that might benefit other users working at NERSC? Yeah. So okay, so really, I thought about it as an uh, opportunity for not necessarily users can share the science that they've been working on, but also if you've seen like a you know a journal article or a uh, a news publication on some type of breakthrough to kind of offer that up for discussion. 
amongst everyone. But it could also be, that's a good question. It could also be something that you've done or discovered and sharing your experiences. So there is, there is no, um, I guess, no science related approach topic off, off limits. Does that kind of provide clarity? Yeah, it seems like any of these could be fine, but I just wanted to clarify what you were looking for, and it looks like you're looking pretty broad. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, are, they, are you more focusing on really high level, how do you say, really impactful research that's already published, or not necessarily high impact, but you know? Uh, students maybe working on certain projects in the north can give some nice results for the first time, for example, or maybe impactful but not published yet, some preliminary and asking for feedback. Are they still within your radar? Okay, that's a good question. So it does not have to be, um, and I think you're taking the approach um, if it is something that isn't published, that's perfectly fine. If it's kind of, you know, like a white paper or something in progress, I think that would be perfectly fine. Uh, as long as it opens up a good avenue for possible discussion. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Oh, thank you. All right. Any other questions? or thoughts or any recommendations for um, how we might could approach it and try to frame the um, this segment and the conversations. Um, we're looking to try some new ideas and new ways to get everyone active and more involved. So any thoughts or any recommendations would definitely be appreciated. Any thoughts on that? All right, well, we will uh, continue on then with our next, uh, stop sharing. So next up, we will continue on and with this, we are going to announce our winners for the uh, 2023 Nurse Early Career um, High Performance Computing Achievement Awards. Um, and so this year we received over 17 uh, nominations for our Early Career Achievement Awards in the category of innovative use of high performance computing, as well as um, high impact um, awards as well. And so for each of those two categories, we were able to select winners, um, two winners for innovative use of high performance computing and uh, three winners for our high impact awards. And so we will, I will now um, uh, announce each of those winners starting with our innovative use award uh, recipients. And I'll just provide a little bit of information about the winner and what they are being recognized for here. And uh, later, uh, we will be inviting all of the winners to give talks on their work as well. So stay tuned for that in the future. And so first, we will like to award uh, Yusuf El Elmagi um, with the 2023 Award for Innovative Use of High Performance Computing. Um, these This award is typically given to uh, winners that have uh, created a sort of ecosystem that can help advance high performance computing using uh, nurse resources. And Yusuf, he's a PhD student at Georgia Tech, and he was nominated and is being recognized for his innovative approach to achieving large scale asynchronous graph processing. And so, Carl, you, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. It's it's only showing us a loading screen. Is it something shown on your screen right now? Uh, my apologies, yes. Sorry. We were waiting for it to load, I think, so that we were like, well, I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So does that work fine? 
Yes. Um, and then maybe see if you can do um, slideshow. Yes, that works. Thank you. You know what happened is I probably, I with um, Google presentation, I keep forgetting that you have to do your desktop share instead of just. Right, right, right. Okay, so, no worries. Sorry to interrupt. Thank you. Oh, no, no. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. So uh, again, Yusuf, he as being awarded for uh, introducing an innovative approach to achieving large-scale asynchronous graph processing. Uh, Yusuf also worked as a intern at Berkeley Lab in the Performance and Algorithms Research Lab. So uh, congratulations to uh, Yusuf. I, I'm not sure if he was able to join us. Um, let's see if Yusuf is on. I don't see him. So um, a few people, um, a few of our winners had conflicts, so they wouldn't be able to make it, but they were nonetheless, everyone recognized and was excited. So uh, please, if you are, if you know Yusuf or feel free to uh, send him an email or a congratulatory Slack message. And so moving on to our next recipient for innovative use of high performance computing is Anthony uh, Kremen. And Anthony is a postdoc here at, or, or at Berkeley Lab in the dark energy uh, division in uh, the physics, physical sciences area. And so Anthony is being honored for developing and implementing a pioneering approach to enabling data processing for the dark energy spectroscopic instrument. And so this is helping to achieve Desi's mission to try to construct a, a 3D map of the universe and a truly amazing and innovative work. So uh, congratulations to Anthony. Was Anthony um, here with us today? I am. Thank you so much. I'm very honored for this award. Very grateful. All right, you are more than welcome. And you know, if you have anyone that you want to uh, call out and thank for um, that you can uh, collaborate with on, on your work, you're free to have a minute to do that or just share your thoughts. Yeah, absolutely. I would, well, I'd first like to thank my supervisor, Stephen Bailey, who's on the call. Um, it was his mentorship and leadership for the project that made this possible. And I'd also like to thank my thousand collaborators who helped uh, make DESI possible and make it the success that it is. Um, and I'd like to thank the NERSC staff and especially uh, the NESAP program for helping DESI as a whole uh, perform as well as it has with with using NERSC to its, to its uh, peak ability. So yeah, thank you. Awesome, awesome. And you know, thank you for your contributions and outstanding work. And so uh, I know you'll be doing e even more great things to come. So congratulations. Thank you. All right. And so uh, please uh, congratulate um, Yusuf and Anthony. They are our 2023 recipients of the Innovative Use of High Performance Computing. Um, award winners. And so next up, we will move on to our High Impact Achievement Early Career Award winners. And we have three winners in this category. And so our first um, High Impact Scientific Achievement winner um, that we will recognize is uh, Feng Zhao Zhao. And uh, he is, uh, com they are completing their, um, they're a computational physicist at UC uh, Santa Barbara. Uh, you, Zhao earned his PhD from UC Berkeley, and he is being recognized for developing a first principles computational formalism to calculate the rate of trap-assisted Aug Auger-Meitner recombination. And so, uh, Feng Zhao, are you, um, are you, were you able to join? I know you said you planned. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Well, congratulations. You are um, free to have a minute or so to share your thoughts and thank anyone that you would like to um, 
recognize for okay. your work. Okay, thank you very much. I'm, I feel so honored to be, uh, be awarded this prize. Uh, thank you, Nersk. And also, I, I would like first to thank my PhD advisor, Stephen Louis. Uh, I also spent six years at Berkeley uh, completing my PhD and uh, cons consistently used the Nersk machine to do our works on computational stuff of um, uh, electronic and optical properties of materials. Uh, and I would also like to thank my uh, uh, postdoc advisor, Professor Chris Vanderbilt at UCSB. Uh, we developed this um, method to simulate the uh, trap assist O'Shea manner recognition um, rate together. Uh, and we had a very nice work and um, a very uh, nice result. And it's my uh, pleasure and honor. I feel so uh, uh, lucky to have this uh, work accomplished and uh, and also had this award. Thank you. You're welcome and congratulations. And um, I know you said lucky, but it's just you did amazing hard work and mm -hmm. obtained great results. So congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, thanks NERSC, uh, for uh, this uh, amazing award and also uh, providing very nice uh, resources for the computation. You are more than welcome. All right. And so we will move on to our next recipient for our High Pit Impact Achievement Award. And this goes to uh, Bikash uh, Kanango. And uh, Bikash is a, an assistant research scientist at the University of Michigan. And he is being, uh, they are being recognized for developing a data dri driven approach to improve exchange correlation functionals and dis density functional theory. And so, uh, congratulations to uh, Bikash. Uh, Bikash, are you with us today? Yes. Hi, Charles. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I was supposed to send you a photo. This photo is from my undergrad. So okay. <laughs> looking at me now. Uh, so uh, first of all, I'm honored to receive this award and I would like to express my gratitude to the NERSC user group and some of my collaborators, my advisor, Vikram Gavini at Michigan and uh, my collaborator, Paul Zimmerman at Michigan and some of my lab mates, uh, Sambit Das and Vishal Subramaniam, who have helped create the uh, infrastructure, the software infrastructure on which this work stands on. So thanks a lot. And once again, I express my gratitude to the NERSC user group. Awesome, congratulations. And thank you for uh, making use of all of the uh, resources that we provide to help you continue to do groundbreaking scientific work. Thanks. All right. And so our final uh, recipient for the High Impact Achievement Award goes to uh, Cal Bushick. And so Cal is a PhD student at the University of Michigan, uh, pursuing his uh, PhD in material science and engineering. And Cal is being recognized um, for be helping to develop a novel novel computational me methodology as well to calculate the auger meitner recombination rates in silicon using predictive atomistic calculations. And so uh, Cal is also a currently a DOE computational science graduate fellow as well. Uh, Cal, are you with us today? Okay. And I know Kyle said he had a conflict and he may or may not be able to make it. So um, uh, Kyle, uh, we will, for all of our winners, uh, you will receive a, uh, a certificate of recognition within the mail, as well as a, a digital credential um, for your award as well. Um, so that will be coming to you within the next couple of weeks. In addition, for all of our winners, we will be inviting you all to give uh, 
uh, nurse talks on your scientific work and what you've accomplished. So please be on the lookout for emails to help try to schedule that and get the logistics going for those talks in the future, uh, in the immediate future, within the next couple of months, actually. So, um, so congratulations to all five of our uh, Nurse Early Career Award winners. Uh, we give out these awards every year to highlight our users and the um, amazing scientific work that they're doing. So please uh, continue to encourage um, all of you, our users and anyone that you work with on the projects to continue to do great work and uh, keep this type of award in mind in the future if you work with someone on a project and you think that they are deserving of these award, of an award as well. All right. And so uh, that, pretty much concludes the bulk of our meeting for today with the announcements um, coming up. Uh, we are moving into the holidays, but we will have likely have another NUG meeting uh, in mid-December before we break for the holiday season. Um, please uh, be sure to share any topics and thoughts that you have um, for upcoming topics, as well as for the science talk as well as if you would be interested in uh, giving a lightning talk during one of our NUB meetings, just to uh, discuss some of the work that you've been working on, as well as maybe if you just need to need a little practice, even if you're getting ready for um, a conference or a presentation and you'd like to do a lightning talk on your work, we would love to hear about some of the research work that all of our users are doing. And so um, at this moment, I guess we can take any, do we have any questions for follow-up about um, anything covered or anything in general? Do we have anyone on the call that will be attending uh, supercomputing next week in Denver? Um, yes, I'm attending it. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So it looks like we have a, a couple of people. All right. Will this be anyone's first time attending supercomputing? It's my first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Lippy and Bakash, it'll be both of your first times. Awesome. Well, I'm sure you'll have a great time. Um, it'll be probably a little overwhelming, but in a good sense. So uh, have fun with it. I won't be attending this year, but I'm pretty sure I will be next year since it's here in Atlanta as well. <laughs> and so, um, any other questions or thoughts? All right. Well, with that, um, that is the end of our meeting. I hope everyone has a great rest of your week in November as well. And again, congratulations to our five uh, Nurse Early Career Award winners. Um, and more information will follow about uh, invitations for your, um, your nurse talks, uh, as well as your uh, certificate of recognition and digital credential as well. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thanks.